Well, I figure I better get the southern tobacco while I still can, because I think wars are coming. Hello and welcome to another episode of Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me is Prospector Johnny. And this week, Prospector, it's uh, it's uh, it's Lincoln's time to finally get to Washington, D.C. Oh, uh, he, he made it. He was on his journey doing his speeches, and now he's finally arrived. He is going to make it this week. Uh, the week's going to start on February 22nd when Lincoln would give a speech in Philadelphia Hall at the uh, at the Washington's birthday celebration. So Washington, he's having his uh, we're having his birthday celebration sure, for yeah. our first president, uh, and he's going to have a speech and he's going to state that and I quote: "I have never had a feeling politically that did not spring from the sentiments embodied in the Declaration of Independence. There is no need for bloodshed and war." So again, reiterating, you know, we want peace and we yeah. don't need war. And again, just kind of that 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 overturn of you know this is only a problem if we make it a problem although it's I very think, tepid yeah i think the people in the Good south uh, are not are not really happy with this because in southern newspapers uh there's a lot of talk about how this artificial crisis is well not artificial look did you not see our declaration of uh of confederate independence we are now our own nation at least on paper yeah. so take us seriously yeah, it's the parent trying to ignore the child's bad behavior, and it's uh, I'm I'm not sure how long you can do that when the child's taking your stuff. Lincoln would once again be warned by uh, by Alan Pinkerton to maybe change his plans for travel and not go through Baltimore. Uh, but again, Lincoln's like, all right, listen, fine, maybe we'll alter the plans a little bit, but I'm not okay. going to get too much into this because we're going to have a very special Lincoln sneaks into Washington, D.C. Uh, episode later on this week. So no. suffice it to say, Lincoln makes it to Washington safe and does not get assassinated. Now, now, was he in real danger here? How many, I mean, I know people are upset and everything else, but I mean, he's still in the north at this time, traveling. Uh, and how well, he's, in, he's, he, he's in Maryland, which is a slave, a slave holding state. So that's not, no. you know, there are some people who are upset with him there. But do you think that they're mad enough to kill a president? Like people get uh, mad all the time. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably a bit overblown by Pinkerton wanting to make a name for himself, but but stay tuned for a special sense. episode, and we'll get into it a little bit more there. Uh, Lincoln will make it to Washington, D.C. on February 23rd. Uh, also on February 23rd, Texas is going to have uh, their official secession because oh, the, okay. the, there the, peop the, the people vote, and, uh, and in Texas, uh. <laughs> the, the vote is in. It's 34,794 uh, in favor of secession to 11,235 okay. against, which that doesn't – I mean, I don't know how many people are in Texas, but that doesn't seem like a lot of people I came out to vote. I mean, it can't be super representative, I wouldn't think. But, but then I again, mean, even then, it's it's three it's, it's, and it's, a half times as many, or almost like it, that's significant. And it's also only white landowners that are allowed to allowed to vote too. Well, so. why would they let anybody else vote? <laughs> that's crazy talk. Get that out of here. Uh, On... Who else is gonna vote? Wait, women, children. <laughs> Wait, do you want do you want barn animals to vote next? What's wrong with you? I mean, maybe on uh, on February twenty fifth, uh, we're going to see Lincoln visiting Congress and the Supreme Court, uh, just getting his lay of the land, so to speak. He's still the president elect has not been uh, has not been sworn in just as of yet, but he's getting the lay of the land. Um, by the by, that peace conference that we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks, months. That's done it's great still, and brought yeah, peace. And, it's done great, brought peace. Yeah. It's still going on, but they're getting ready to finally vote for what they what they want to propose to Lincoln. I'm okay. Put my pipe, I'm put my pipe down. I, I pretty much killed it already. Um, on on the 27th, Confederate President Jefferson Davis would uh, would send Martin J. Crawford, John Forsyth, and A. B. Roman to negotiate peace with the Federals. He's he's trying as a new as a new president of the South. He's trying to avoid war, sort of himself. So he's sending his own delegates up there. Again, they are not going to be accepted in Washington as anything more than Southern gentlemen because. It, Accepting them as uh, as delegates would be acknowledging the Confederate states, and we're just not going to do that. Right. Can we talk about how he shouldn't be allowed to call himself president because he wasn't actually elected? He should just be, call himself the dictator the, of the Confederate <laughs> president. Well, I think they call it the interim president, or uh, you know, something along those lines. But it doesn't matter. He's so he's, so yeah. even they're acknowledging that they're not real. That he's well, they're they're acknowledging <laughs> that he was. Or he, the, they're going to vote they're, later they're, for they're gonna it. Vote, yeah, they're right. they're going to vote later. Right now, he's the uh, he's the interim president, or the uh, mm -hmm. you know the, the we we decided that you're going to lead while we wait for our elections to take off. 
and it's just in time that he sends these peace negotiators because that that peace convention, Johnny, they've they've come through. They've got they've got a resolution. Hey, and good. They, they, yes, yes. They they are proposing six amendments to the Constitution of the United oh. States. Wow, so six. six, six. The That's, first one okay. is that uh, is that involuntary servitude is going to be prohibited north of the thirty six thirty parallel line, which oh, is okay. already is, and that the territories that uh, have slavery right now could exist, and uh, and that territories themselves could have slavery, um, as long as they were a territory, and then once being admitted as a state. The state itself would determine whether or not it wanted wanted slavery. So that's so, what the South wanted, which is exactly what the South wanted, and ignores that whole thirty six thirty parallel because again, any any territory above that could have had slaves if they wanted while they were right. territory, and if they voted in in their constitution, so it's self contradictory already. Yeah, it's self contradictory, and this is already this is the critic in compromise two point We've already shot this down with a critic in yeah. compromise, but we're we're bringing it back up for whatever All right, reason. Let's try again. Second Amendment is that no further further territories will be admitted without four fifths consent of Congress. So, no more new territories. Not going to do that until uh, unless you have four fifths, you know, permission from from Congress. Okay. The uh, third constitutional amendment is going to be that Congress cannot regulate, abolish, or control slavery in states or territories where it already exists. So again, Wait, it seems they very can't, much what the South. I, wants. I mean, they can't touch it. That that they can't they, read that again. They can't. It says Congress cannot regulate, abolish, or control slavery in states or territories where it already exists. So they also uh, basically don't touch us. Get out of here. We're this is what we're doing, and we're we're sticking with it. All right. Same thing that was uh, again. Same thing that was uh, talked about already in the Critted and Compromise. The Fourth Amendment here is that fugitive slave provisions of the Constitution should be enforced and Congress should not interfere. So if you're not familiar with that, um, if you had a slave that ran to the north through the, uh, through the Underground Railroad, yeah. uh, the South has the right to go to the north where slavery is illegal, find that fugitive slave, and then bring them back. And that state cannot interfere with that at all. Yeah, and basically they're caught, saying they're allowed to go and get their property no matter back, where it goes. Yeah. Yep, and if of course you're uh, you're uh, you're aiding and abetting a fugitive slave, well, to That's the stealing, jail with you. essentially, right? Yeah, is what they're what they're kind of trying to get at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the fifth one is that foreign slave trade is prohibited, which it already oh. is by by yeah. all practical points. Every other industrialized nation in the world has already said we're not going to do this. In fact, the uh, England is uh, is is actively hunting down slave boats and the and uh you know they just can't them. help themselves but to cruise around the world trying to take stuff over can they <laughs> the, the english no, no <laughs> they're, they're like all right well we went we went all around the world collecting slaves and selling them and everything and oh and now, now we're gonna, gonna that, now we're gonna do the opposite yep they they, they sure are Johnny. <laughs> they, they just want they just want to take stuff over that's it Yep. And the final final amendment that they're going to vote on is that there should be a compensation for loss of fugitives from labor. So if you're if you're if, if the slave owner loses workman's a slave, comp. Yeah. If the slave owner loses a slave, <laughs> he gets workman's comp for that uh, that lost labor <laughs> from the government for, uh, from the government. Yeah. So these six, what? these six constitutional amendments are very like, listen. Now, this, now you were reading from the Confederates' uh, no, this is, president's this is, constitution, this is, no, right? No, because no, that no, is, what? No, this is this is the Washington uh, Peace Conference. Yeah, this is this is what the United States uh, Congress has has said no, no, uh, is that, a compromise. That's not a compromise. That's and, the no, South's you're right. desires. Yeah, I think they lost the. I don't. I don't think they know what the term compromise means. Compromise means that both sides lose yeah. something. Yeah, it's a lose lose. Sides, it's a, yeah. it's a give up a little bit. Yeah, to, yeah, both, yeah. For a common it, good, there is no what nothing. what what you know what is good for the abolitionists here. I mean, that they I mean, get basically, to have no slaves and that states that already have no slaves. Right. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They get to continue to outlaw slavery where it's currently already outlawed. outlawed. Yeah. Well, needless to say, Johnny, this does not. None of them pass. Not a single one. I mean, shocking. You know, this is. They're like this is not at all. What it's we wanted. Garbage. It's Good garbage. Golly, they uh, they didn't even try. That's they, I mean that they didn't even try. They really don't. And uh, and also on the uh, the twenty seventh year, as Governor Pickens of South Carolina is going to write President Davis and state that quote We feel that our honor and safety require that Fort Sumner should be in our possession at the very earliest moment. So we have the governor of South Carolina saying we want to take federal property, which isn't 
in South Carolina. Look at a map. It's off the coast. It is an island in the middle of the water. It's a real easy question to answer, though. Uh, no, you may not have no, yeah, uh, you may not. this fort of ours uh, that's in the ocean separated from your state entirely. Which, that is what Buchanan has said and continues to say is no. Well, I mean, no. that's basically the, what he's saying to everything, though, to be fair. He's just <laughs> he's just laying in bed. Buchanan, do you want to come and do something today? No. Do you want to answer no. any questions? Can we can we try to get something resolved? No. No, we don't want to do that. We don't no. want to do that. No. 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 Are you going to acknowledge no. that the South is just taking federal property? No. No, we're not going to do that either. No. No. So the month is going to end on the 28th when Missouri State Convention is going to meet in Jefferson City to discuss the session and ultimately say, no, we are not seceding. Hey, yeah, we did it. We've got a okay. southern we've got a southern slave state that says this is ridiculous. We're not doing it. And yeah. and Johnny, we got another state. North Carolina is also going to have a, a convention on secession. Okay. And they're also going to vote 651 against secession. No secession in North Carolina. So, so they're staying too. So they're we have with us. We have two more southern states that are slaveholding states that say nah. We're okay, not, and no, I mean, ridiculous. Still, those percentages aren't great for the uh, kind of did secede, didn't secede, but well, no, but it's hey, at least but something. Still, we've got we've got southern states, southern slave owning states that are saying this is ridiculous. The we we agreed to join this gentleman's club. By all means, let's preserve this gentleman's club. Well, they agreed to a democracy. The democracy spoke, and then half of them were like, "I don't want the democracy when it doesn't agree with me." Uh, that is that is that is, that is and so true. we're going to go ahead and elect a dictator tell him by telegram to his farmhouse make him come and run our little country and let us keep owning people uh, uh, speaking of that dictator he is going to approve a 15 million dollar loan to domestic confederate states of america so um, how starting much? off the yeah, 15 million dollars starting off on a on a good strong Strong point, and I'm not sure where this money's coming from. Because that money, no, does, that kind of money, doesn't even exist. It doesn't exist because no foreign state is like, "Here's your money." It's just, I guess they're going to start printing money. I, I have like I, fifteen just, million I, dollars. Here we just, go. I, can we do that? <laughs> I'm out here. I'm out here prospecting for gold. I didn't know I could just be like, "Well, guess that's, I all. I guess I already have fifteen million dollars. I just a, yeah, didn't know it." How's it going? You, have you have you found any gold there yet, Johnny? Are you still? Uh, no, is still it empty? empty. Yeah, still empty. Still yeah. not. Yeah. Nothing there. Maybe you should go a little bit farther than Indiana. <laughs> I've been thinking about it, but there's a lot of unsearched areas out here, and I'm staying <laughs> confident. The swamplands of Indiana. All right. And uh, the last little bit of things is that the House, with the approval of President-elect Lincoln, which I'm not sure why he has to give his approval, but. With approval of President-elect mm -hmm. Lincoln, the Great. House is going to pass a resolution barring the federal government from interfering with slavery where it already exists. So again, Lincoln's coming out strong saying, yes, I'm an abolitionist. Yes, I want to uh, to protect you know the right of people to be people and not owned, sure. but I'm not going to interfere with it where it already exists. So he's saying, I, I, I want to make it so that people are people are not owned. Um Except for where they're already owned, yeah, yeah. And, well, and now that those those people, not worried about them. Trying, he's trying, but to just put like, the South, yeah, he's trying to put the South's mind at ease, saying, "Look, I'm not gonna get rid of you. I'm not taking. I'm not taking your slaves. I'm gonna let you have they them. Took our slaves. So please, please come back to the Union, and you can keep your damn slaves. Just don't spread it anywhere farther than where. Yeah, it we're is. just yeah, we're just saying like keep your smallpox infestation that you have in check, essentially. Don't let it spread. God, I feel the uh, I feel the Southerners are really going to love this episode of, <laughs> of ours, Jenny. Uh, well, hey, that, you know what? They're a bunch of traitors, so I don't care. Yeah, what they yeah, yeah, that's true. They are. Uh, but with that said, uh, it still has to go to the Senate for final approval. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe if we have a resolution on that next week. That's it for this week in Civil War in Hindsight. Please like, share, and subscribe. And join us on Historic Hindsight where we talk about all kinds of random things like well-hung Russians.